It is a really lovely example of a cow pat. And you might think this is really funny, but there's something very special about cow pats and animals that feed on grass because their, pat, their poo gets laid, laid in the middle of the, of the fields, all over the place and it can be used for many, many things. But the first things that make use of it before it's even dry are the dung flies and they're the bright orange flies which uh, we haven't got any just at the moment but we have got evidence that there have been some flies laying their eggs on it because there's a little hole and that little hole that my grass pointing system is you pointing to is where a fly has hatched out there's another one there and there or maybe even those little shiny black beetles that we get using the dung and what happens is the fly lands on the dung and it lays its eggs and within hours in the warmth of the dung the little tiny maggots hatch out that's what we call baby flies before they've changed and those little maggots hatch out into that lovely warm mess and it's like being born into your favourite food imagine being born into well for me it would be a rich chocolate mousse oh, that'd be good. and those little maggots then start to eat and they eat and eat and eat and all the time they're kept warm and then they get so fat after a few days of eating maybe a week and they go to sleep and a hard shell forms around them and that's like going into a chrysalis but it's called a pupa and then they sleep like that for a while their little bodies turn the little maggoty bodies turn into a liquid and then reform as an adult fly and then when they hatch they have to dig their way out of the cow pack if I had to, something to turn this over with you'd be able to see all the little tunnels where they'd munch their way through the cow pack. Now the crust of this pack's dry but underneath it could be wet and soggy and more on what we can do with cow pats on a later edition. So that's really the first thing you know the pat is dropped it's made of munched up grass undigested grass and lots and lots and lots of bacteria from the cow's gut and the bacteria are shed out but they actually carry on munching away at the grass cells themselves and in turn they keep it warm and of course then along come the flies and then the little maggots have a perfect environment in which to thrive